What's up guys, welcome back to another Randonautica adventure. Uh, probably gonna just be doing a little bit of it here tonight locally, um, just because I'm kind of working on several other videos for you and I'm pretty tired. Um, it's just, it's exhausting sometimes having to drive so far to the middle of nowhere, you know, running in tents. So I decided to try one here, uh, not too far from home and, uh, see exactly what we end up with. For those of you who have no idea what Randonautica is, maybe it's new to you. Um, it is this really weird app that basically uses an intent, brings you somewhere nearby on your maps and you may or may not find something there. Um, in this case, I ran the intent. It's telling me that it's on like some trail down there. Oof, it's a little bit uh, nippy and I haven't put my gloves on yet, so my hands are kind of freezing, but um, yeah, the first intent we went with is from Mel Atwood, and that was the light at the end of the tunnel. So let's uh, head on over and see what we end up finding. Tonight I'm actually trying out the uh, lav mic once again. I haven't used this. Hopefully it's on. It's on. <laughs> um, I haven't used this in a little while. Last time, I know we had some like audio problems. So let me know if you're experiencing any, any audio issues. If you do, I really apologize. It was really weird because um, it worked for pretty much everybody that I asked to like play it on their devices that I personally know. It worked on all of my devices, but there was a whole bunch of you who just could not hear what I was saying. And that should not be the case. Like it's literally right below me. So anyways, let's uh, get on this trail and see if there's anything there. Alrighty. So um, it's telling me that there's like something kind of in the middle. Uh, it looks like there's a little body of water here. Just kind of in some random ass subdivision at the moment. Uh, nothing too crazy. Kind of glad I'm not ending up in the middle of a forest at this point. Because <laughs> that gets kind of scary when you have to go so far in. Let's turn on this flashlight. So uh, recently Olight actually sent me another flashlight. This one's awesome because it's I've been using it uh, for my smaller locations just because it's less light than my mini router but yeah if you guys are looking for a handy dandy flashlight something like this it's rechargeable it's really good dropped it several times and uh has not broken <laughs> thankfully um yeah feel free to check out the link down in the description below and get yourself one because they have amazing products it's really cool when we have something that's uh that we actually use here on the channel that become uh, supporters and affiliates and help kind of, you know, fund the travels, which gets really, really expensive. Okay, so there's some, like, random opening here. It's, like, just garbage so far. Yeah, I'm not really uh, seeing too much. There's stuff, like, in there. What is all that? It looks like bricks. Just kind of random nastiness, I suppose. This would be kind of a cool area to go magnet fishing. <laughs> Maybe I should start doing that. That could be fun. Just something fun here for the second channel. Go to random little bodies of water across town and uh, throw the magnet in and see what the hell we pull out. Uh, okay. Doesn't really seem like there's anything here. So it should have been like back there, but I didn't see anything. Just lots of trash everywhere, another little water main thingy there. Nothing too crazy. All right, possibly a dud. I guess I'll uh, start walking back and uh, run another intent. Well, it looks like there's something, probably just trash. What the hell was that? Oh, just a leaf. <laughs> scared the crap out of me. Oh, look, a little rabbit. Yeah, first I saw like uh, this and then I noticed that there was like Something here that is looks like a shirt or something. What the hell? What is that? Got a box of candles for angel chimes. Okay. Um, there's like patches on here. Morning Star Pathfinder Club. I have no idea what that is. There's a little pocket here. Oh, there's more patches actually. Ontario, okay, that is that is where we are, Ontario, Canada. <laughs> Nothing too crazy. And does not appear to be anything in the pocket. Okay, so we got a shirt. 
very random, with a bunch of patches on it, a box of candles, um, looks like it was 49 cents at one point in time, looks like some papers in here, it looks like, what's that? You are never truly alone? The f the hell? With Eclipsian Covenant. Oh, okay. Well, that's great. Be free and go with Celine. All right, that's a little that's a little creepy. Let's just uh, take those and put you back where you came from. Um, that's. Oh, I can't even get it in there. Damn, whatever. Uh, that's creepy. Um, yeah, I'm gonna just run back to the car and uh, I'll explain what this might mean in a moment. It's like a random car all the way on the other side there. I mean, it's probably just like parked, maybe getting the mail or something. I have no idea. But okay, let's let's just run back to the car and we're, we're gonna talk about this. Okay, that was creepy for a second. It almost looked like there was somebody behind that building. I don't even know what this building is. It looks like a house, but I'm not sure. Okay, so it is probably a house. So it was probably just them, um, just as private property. They're probably just like wondering why this bright ass light is just staring right at them. But uh, yeah, so how do I, how do I even explain this? So lately, if you guys have been watching for a while, um, last year, this was back when uh, when Frank was still with us, um, who, some of you have still been asking about him. Frank uh, did actually move on. He ended up going with a different career path and just decided this wasn't really for him. Don't really blame him. <laughs> Half the time is what it is. Um, but yeah, so back then, I think it started out in like Texas, we were getting weird messages from this group called the Visarians, who is run by a guy named Sergei, off in Russia. Dude essentially thinks he's Jesus. It is a cult. And uh, they were sending me some weird messages, like they wanted me to join their, their club or group or whatever you want to call it, I guess to like start another commune somewhere, because that's kind of what he was doing. Um, obviously, I'm not going to do that. I am Catholic. I do consider myself very religious. Um, but... Yeah, recently, oh my god, that wind, holy crap. Okay, let me just turn this way for a second. Yikes. Um, yeah, so recently we've been getting these weird messages from what appears to be another cult called the Eclipsian Covenant, or Convent, or whatever. I don't even know anymore. Um, and I keep finding weird messages from them. I don't know how they're doing this. I've searched the car many, many times, brought it in. They've checked multiple times, cannot seem to find any trackers or anything like that. Uh... But yeah, I don't know what these people want and it's kind of spooky. And to be honest with you guys, like I'm highly considering not even using this app anymore. It, it may be coming to that point in time where we might just have to move on. I don't know. Like I'm not saying that I'm gonna do that like this instant. Obviously I'm literally out here filming this right now. But uh, at some point in time, maybe within like, you know, the next couple of months, um, I might not do this. I am working on a bunch of different projects that I kind of want to pursue and uh, I think I'm really going to enjoy them. I think you guys are going to really enjoy watching them and uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I just think this is getting a little too too risky, too dangerous. I mean, if other people want to do it, I've even been telling Brad like, yo, maybe we need to just call it a day with this stuff. I know Jazz did a long time ago and uh, he says it was one of the best decisions he's ever made in his life because it's risky doing this. I mean, not only are we going out into the woods, oftentimes alone, as I do, um, you know, we can get eaten by, like, a bear or something. I mean, I'm pretty sure bears don't eat humans, but they will attack you. If there's a grizzly bear out there, it will attack you. I can confirm that. Uh, but, yeah, I, I don't know. I am going to keep you guys updated because I'm not going to leave you guys hanging and just be like, hey, what happened? What happened to all the Randonautica adventures? And it's just like, well, I'm just, you know. At some point, I will let you guys know when, when I am going to call it a day with that. And I do apologize if that's what you want to see, but, unfortunately, it just is what it is. Um, we're definitely going to still be doing a lot more ghost hunting because I'm just having a really, really good time lately doing that. It is scary, and I do think something might actually be following me and Jazz. Um, hence why a lot of times we have so much activity in a lot of the locations that we go to. Uh, plus, obviously, whatever's already there to begin with just kind of heightens it. 
but yeah, we'll uh, we'll talk more about that in the future. Um, I think I'll probably run another intent. That's really weird that I found that. Um, these guys have been around for a little while now. Um, yeah. Anyways, instead of me rambling on for four minutes, let's run another intent and uh, see where else we end up. Holy moly, that wind. Oof, super strong. This is what we get usually uh, here in Canada. Lots of wind and it's only going to get worse over the next couple of months. But uh, anyways, uh, so ended up going with the same intent and it looks like it's taking me like behind some houses there is a trail of course so we're not like just trespassing on somebody's property um randomly but uh yeah let's go down this trail and uh see what we manage to find looks pretty uh pretty dark and creepy if you ask me but this is uh well part of the game i guess go to all the I thought I heard something over there. So honestly, like, for how small this flashlight is, it's pretty amazing. <laughs> and I love the coloring of it, too. It's very, uh, very nice on the eyes. <laughs> Not like the other one. The other one's just absolutely blinding. Mind you, that one's 7,000 lumens. This one's like 4,800. Anyways, I feel like I'm uh, doing an, an advert for flashlights all of a sudden which I guess I kind of am but yeah <laughs> oh there's something here so the point is like all the way down there it looks like there's two lakes um kind of like side by side that is a hat that says oh shoot oh crap my uh my damn light turned off here give me a second guys why is my light turning off okay maybe my light's haunted Oh, there's something in here. More than myth? What the hell? What does this even say? Garfield? Okay. Alright, we got a box of random goodies, it looks like. What the hell is all this? Got a Canadians in flight. Okay. Looks like a book of stamps but uh, no stamps okay well that's useless <laughs> what am I supposed to do with a booklet of empty stamps vintage carousels more stamps um, there's just like a sticker in the middle but no stamps what the hell is going on here why is there just a bunch of books of stamps Got a lighthouse. Ooh, that's pretty. I'm guessing that's West Coast Canada. Probably BC. Yeah, Canadian Pacific. Thought I heard something move down there. Another booklet of stamps, but nothing in it. That one is Monique Mercure. I do apologize, but I have no idea who Monique is. When he buried his nephew, he echoed Yeats, word that a man should live to comb gray hair. Too many Kennedy men didn't, but Teddy did in his long life. He carried many burdens, leader of his family, icon of his party, voice of the dispossessed. His death cuts a cord to a shimmery past, but leaves a legacy far into the future. Very strange. What the hell? Sounds like it's talking about the Kennedy? Like... Ted Kennedy, the, I think he was a senator in the U.S. Um, okay. Not quite sure who that is. Maybe that's Ted Kennedy? It's me. <laughs> I'm like one of those people that, if you show me photos of certain people, I have no idea who they are. Like, I don't know who that is. Um, although it says it. Ex uh, Excelsior, Ted Kennedy... Long climb. Okay. Just hope these don't all fly away. What the hell? Seek and you will find. Why do I always find that? What, what does that even mean? Like, what am I finding? Apart from a bunch of random articles. This kind of looks like... Hold on a second here. Oh, there goes one. I gotta reach in there and grab that after. Is that Obama? I believe that is Obama. 
Okay, we're just gonna put this on top because otherwise everything's gonna blow away here. We got Ted. Okay, seems fitting. Uh, it was ripped for Kennedy in 1972. The liberal flame never dimmed. Okay, another Obama. I'm not gonna read all of this. This is just really freaking random. Stay. <laughs> okay, this just looks like a bunch of random articles and such. What is this? Did you solve it? Solve what? That's really weird. What the hell was that? A little mouse or something? Okay, we're just gonna shove all this back in here and uh, put it back in the hat and be on our way. More than a myth, he got the chance to be the one thing his revered brothers never could be, merely human. How the heck do you even open this? Is that it? Is that the only thing that's in there? Make me do all this work and <laughs> there's just random things about Ted Kennedy? Ugh. Yeah, it looks to be pretty much it. There's like a picture on the back here. Let's see what this is. Okay, well that's interesting. Um, weird. Uh, I don't really know what to make of this. I'm gonna put the camera down and shove this all back in the hat. Well, that was uh, a bit strange to say the least. Um, I'm gonna continue on here because uh, I was definitely supposed to go much further in. Oh, that wind. Oh boy. What is this thing? Just like a random drain. That's cool. Not really. I don't even know why I said that was cool. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry if uh, you guys hear me sniffling quite a bit, but I mean, it's that time of year where people are just gonna sniffle. <sighs> Got another one here. Oh. There's something there. Damn, luckily I checked. Ooh. What the hell is this? I mean, sometimes you just find weird stuff in weird places. Mocha Dethiopi, pure Arabica. Oh, it's coffee. Okay, why are people shoving their coffee cans in there? Weird. Oh, I just don't want the coffee to spill everywhere. And that is not coffee. Random Crayola book. Oh, that's weird. The that's really weird. I found the these papers in the last the last area we were in, which was not far from here. I don't know if I should be concerned or. There's like a random flash of light there. What the hell was that? Someone coming? I cannot tell for the life of me. I don't know if that's coming from the road or if that's coming from like somebody there. Okay. Um, I don't really know what to do. I gotta fix my shoelace. Uh, do I continue? I mean, I made it this far. I might as well just continue. I mean, it can't be that freaking dangerous. I'm literally at the back of just some random houses, so screw it. Let's uh, let's continue. First, I'm just gonna fix my shoe though, because the shoelace is undone. <laughs> okay, well, we're basically just gonna carry on. I did fix my shoe, so at least I won't trip over myself. Let's get this uh, flashlight going here. There we go. So I think there's like. A lake back there? I don't really know.
It is kind of weird that stuff that I've been finding. Like I said, I don't know what the deal is with these Eclipsian people. Looked like there was something in there, but I don't really want to go in there. Uh, also, it kind of just looks like trash. But let's keep our eyes open, see if there's anything else here. I'd rather not run into people, so... And there's the lake, I think. Yep. You can see the shimmer. So the point looked to be about here. There's like an opening there in the trees. And then that just goes all the way down there. Whoa. Quite down over there. There's something there. Oh, that's a rabbit. Okay. Hello, rabbit. Lots of rabbits all of a sudden. They're uh, multiplying, I guess. <laughs> Making lots of babies. Okay. Does this go all the way through? It does. Okay. So that just goes there. More trash, it looks like. Um, so what am I looking for? What is that? Just a random bag. Looks like it's probably empty. What is that? Oh yeah, it's empty. It's just wet, which is making it heavier. Okay. Just a usual day here in Ontario where people like to dump garbage in uh, random places that are supposed to be nice little like conservation areas. That's fine, I guess, if you want to be nasty. <laughs> uh, okay, well, I'm not really finding anything, so I don't see the point in going any further. I mean, we can go a little bit further up the trail, but hands kind of getting a little cold. Yeah, I definitely don't see anything. Oh, I guess we'll uh, take a quick peek down here. The point was like here, because I noticed on the map there was like a curve in the, the path here. Um, but might as well check a little bit further down. And it looks like it just goes to the, the main road there. So yeah, doesn't really seem to be a whole lot going on, to be honest. So I'm going to head back and uh, see where we're, where we're gonna go from there, I suppose. Okay guys, so uh, that is gonna be pretty much it for tonight. Um, in all honesty, I just kind of wanted to experiment and just run a couple points, just to see if we keep getting similar clues, which is pretty obvious that we are. Um, so yeah, there's that, <laughs> which is creepy. Um, but I might actually go and do some more tomorrow. Maybe I'll make a fuller, a longer, video for the main channel of this um yeah let me know your intents down below uh i gotta head back to the studio probably get this video edited so i can have it up for tomorrow for you and uh, get the studio ready as well because we've got a couple of uh, podcasts that we're going to be recording shortly um yeah so smash the like button of course go and subscribe to the podcast because uh we're approaching 5,000 subscribers so help me out let's get it to 5,000. i know we can do it um yeah we're gonna have some very interesting guests very interesting conversations coming up on there and you're not gonna want to miss out i promise you that um we have a lot of fun doing it me and mo but uh yeah uh, apart from that subscribe here subscribe to the main channel follow me on my social medias uh and that's pretty much it we'll see you in the next one love you bye bye